Hey guys, it's Jim Chandler with Rock Your Best Vocals. Today, we're going to talk about David Lee Roth. You guys are thinking, David Lee Roth, was he even like a great singer? Was he even a, a good singer? Was he the best singer in the world? Some might argue that David Lee Roth wasn't even the best singer in Van Halen. And in fact, David Lee Roth himself said that his voice sounds like four miles of flat road and knobby tires. And he said that himself. Now, the great thing I think about David Lee Roth is performance aspect, in my opinion. Look at the original Van Halen. Now, if the original Van Halen was a circus, Eddie Van Halen, if he was the guy flying on the trapeze that did all this crazy stuff on the guitar that was like unbelievable and spectacular. You had David Lee Roth, which was kind of like the ringmaster slash clown all put in to together, right? And I looked at David Lee Roth and said, man, that guy can really perform. Now you have to give that to him. He is an amazing performer and a larger than life character. But he also had some really, really cool qualities about his voice. So we're going to just look at those with some, I've got some isolated vocal tracks so you can really hear what's going on and some of the really cool things that I think David Lee Roth used to do. Let's start off with David Lee Roth's style of voice, his kind of speaking voice. And the way I like to get into that kind of character, which is like, I've got my Diamond Dave skull shirt on to kind of get into that character. But he had this kind of like, you kind of hold back your voice. You, I mean, you hold back your breath, man. It's kind of like, I remember seeing him here in Dublin. And um, now he probably used this line at a lot of different shows that he did. But he said, uh, he said, hey, we need to get another bottle of bikini remover. And I remember hearing that, and it stuck in my head, and I was like, okay, so I used that kind of speaking. He's like, oh, my God, you, you kind of have to hold back your, your, uh, your air a little bit and kind of talk a little bit like, like a Kermit the Frog, a little bit. You know, it's that kind of total quality of like, not quite, not meat wad. Some of you guys are going to go, okay, meat wad. And we saw your Kurt Cobain video, which I was kind of using sort of the Jar Jar Binks voice, which was also sounds a lot like meat wad. So if you go, uh, Lisa don't like to, you know, uh, Kurt Cobain voice. But anyway, this is not the Kurt Cobain video. Watch that up there. So let's get into listening to some of the isolated tracks. And you can kind of tell what I'm talking about, okay? So the first track we're talking about is Ain't Talking About Love. Talking about Ain't Talking About Love. I heard the news, baby. I heard the news, baby. See, if you hold back your air a bit I heard the news baby so he wasn't really concerned with singing as much of a, a, a talking kind of style all about your disease all about your disease so you can hear how he's pushing that my love is rotten to the core my love is rotten to the core so you can hear it's not incredibly technically spectacular. What he lacks in the technical ability, he makes up for in style. And that attitude, which a big part of performing is that attitude. I talk about that a lot. You really like if you're going to perform in front of people, it's great to have that attitude. Because, you know, it gives somebody something to kind of look at and kind of go, wow, this is like worth watching and is to perform. So now let's look at Running With The Devil. Let's take a listen to this. This is David Lee Roth's other kind of signature move. And you'll, when I play this, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 
his technique was real kind of, I guess, chest voice slash really rounded sound. Oh, yeah! You know, as opposed to, oh, yeah! The placement of his voice would always be kind of a little bit more back and in the, the throat instead of, oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! And try to just think of your placement kind of back here. Yeah, yeah! Hi, yeah! Hi, yeah! He's got that push of the air. You can hear he's pushing. It's a, it's a lower tone, but he's also got that higher whistle tone that's coming over the top of it. It's not spectacular, but it's that signature David Lee Roth. So I've been kind of working with that a little bit to get that. If you want to do that, try pushing from. Just try to think of just going. So it's falsetto, Woo-hoo! but instead of all of the air coming out your mouth like that, Woo-hoo! push some of the air, some of the air flow back through the back of your throat and up your nasal cavity to get that whistle tone. Woo-hoo! Do you hear how you can hear the two flows coming out? There's some coming out. Woohoo! And then. Woohoo! Now, if you work with that, if you desire to get that sound, that. Woo-hoo! It's very possible for you to do that, but that's why I like to pick an isolated track where you can listen to it over and over again, and you can hear what the heck is he doing there? What is his? What are the qualities? So, if you guys really want to try that, that's a good trick to try and push, start by push. Again, going back to it, start by pushing some of the air out your your mouth, your throat kind of placement. Woohoo! That's all throat. And then redirect some of that air. You hear the two. Woohoo! Woohoo! It's just to get a balance of the two. Now I'm going to do both. Woohoo! Yeah! And that's a good way to try to get those two blended in so you can get that dual kind of overtone thing that David Lee Roth, the signature David Lee Roth sound. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! So if you have something really original like David Lee Roth has, capitalize on that. Use your strengths and try not to focus on your weaknesses. But if you have something like that, that's something unique that makes you stand out from the crowd... Just use that and and build on that strength, that unique strength that you have that sets you apart from everybody else and go for that. 
because nobody wants to hear the same thing over and over again. Focus on that and use that strength to your ability and maximize that, that quality, that unique quality that you have and try to just make it better and better all the time. And I think that's what really made David Lee Roth a great singer. He focused on what he was really, really good at, which was acting like a circus clown on stage. And I mean that in the best way. He still entertains. He still has all of the lingo, this larger-than-life character. And he had that strength of his voice where he could flip into those whistle tones and use those to his ability to make the most out of everything that he did. So, I hope this video has been helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and please hit the subscribe with the notification bell so you can see all the other videos coming out. Oh! Rock your best vocals where your best keeps getting better. Thank you.